In our new technological world, scientists are confronted with problems. Big problems. How big? <laughs> so big that if we were to use the abacus you have there to solve it, you would be dead and in the ground by the time those scientists were done. I don't want ever to die. Ever. Anyway, scientists have very recently built machines that make lightning computations with vacuum tubes, punch cards, and <laughs> a little bit of magic. Does magic really exist, mister? It has to, Timmy, or else computers would never work. Here, let me show you what computers look like. Computers are so complicated now that only a select few can ever hope to understand them. As they get more powerful, they will only get larger and more complex. Right now, the average computer is the size of a house. Imagine, in 10 years, when computers will be the size of states. States? Those are so big! And by the year 1987, scientists have calculated that humans will have to grow an extra brain to understand their complicated language. So, computer science is hard. Timmy, if you screw up just one line of computer science code, if you forget a semicolon, or if you don't comment your code correctly, the computers will rise up against humans, imprisoning us in tiny tubes and sucking our life juices out like a red-tipped heron sipping nectar from a Hussein. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I'm very sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I've been going through some tough times. No, you... No, Timmy, don't run, Timmy. I'm your great uncle. <laughs>